All right, we're going to head back to the voicemail of Truth and Reason. Uh, this one's about the quarterback position. In my opinion, this is what the Browns need to do. First of all, go and drag. I'm going to get um, Marcus Mariota from Oakland. And then when the draft comes, draft the biggest, quarter, biggest strongest quarterback they can get and two big, strong, fast receivers. That's going to fix most of, most of what they need. And since the Browns are a uh, run first team, you're going to need those big uh, receivers and that big quarterback who might have to take a few hits, but can. Thanks. Bye. All right. We, uh, we certainly appreciate the call. Uh, Doug, I'm pretty sure you probably are in agreement with this. I, I'm not really interested in Marcus Mariota and, and drafting um, a quarterback. It kind of resets the clock, and the clock is ticking just based on what you have in the offensive line as well as the running back position and the defense. Well, so you're in favor of, like, Baker in year five for sure? Like, I, I Baker just don't, as the guy? I don't see Marcus Mariota as being a significant upgrade um, over Baker Mayfield. And I don't want, yeah, so I don't want to go draft a quarterback again either. <clears throat> well... So, do you have another hour? <laughs> right. I mean, this is all we're going to be doing all off season. My shorthand answer is, I don't think you can come back in year five with Baker Mayfield or bust. I think you can't come back with Baker Mayfield and just Case Keenum. We've seen other teams do this. You can go the route where you bring in a veteran like the Titans did with Ryan Tannehill beyond, behind Mariota, coincidentally. And then Tannehill took over the way the Bears did with Nick Foles behind Mitch Trubisky. You can draft a quarterback the way the Eagles did with Jalen Hurts behind Carson Wentz. I think they have to do something. So, and I also think my theory of quarterbacking is drafting a quarterback high forces an organization to get it stuffed together. You want to build around that quarterback. You don't want to waste that quarterback. So you build the defense, you get a good head coach, you get skilled players, and then actually if the quarterback doesn't work, your organization has been built to help a quarterback succeed. So if you just de get that quarterback out and drop another quarterback in, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers built a team to win with Jameis Winston. Jameis Winston didn't win, and they signed Tom Brady, and they had a whole team ready to go around. Them. So all they have to do is get Tom Brady. Not exactly. But I mean, like, I don't think you reset the clock necessarily, right, that – if it's a if it's a rookie, yes, but I, I there are options here. I generally though, specifically to what the caller said, receiver in the first round, let's go. And if you want a big guy, Drake London from USC is your guy. You want a fast guy, Garrett Wilson from Ohio State's your guy. Receiver in the first round is something I am definitely all in on for the Browns. Yeah, I agree. I, again, I Mariota. I'm not interested in that. I, I want a, I want an upgrade. I want a more of an upgrade if you're going to do that. Yeah. I, I think that's fair. I mean, again, it's like, do you do the Rams thing where you trade the quarterback for the upgrade? But but there are other options. Again, I don't know that Mariota's it, but Mariota is actually kind of a lot like Tannehill and that he was a hot, he was a first round pick who was given a shot and kind of didn't pan out. And then like in round two, he found it. Tannehill's been a better quarterback in Tennessee than he was in Miami. So, um, like Marcus Mariota specifically, I don't know Marcus Mariota type generally. Actually, maybe. Because there's more upside there than there is with Case Keenum. Like, you know what Case Keenum is. He's 33. He's not going to get any better. Maybe you maybe you have a guy who you thought had a skill set who never popped, who still has a chance to pop. So, I don't know. But – yeah, they're trying to play a game in the midst of a COVID wave on Saturday, so there's probably off-season time for more quarterback talk. 